Hey guys, welcome back to All and On Law. This is a OBGYN lecture, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what are the contraindications. Contraindications to ECP external cephalic version. This is a technique in which what we do is uh, we um, uh, rotate the non cephalic presentation of the fetus to a cephalic presentation. Okay, so it's an external cephalic version. So we have also the internal cephalic version which is associated with the more complications but external cephalic version is also associated with the complications but not higher than what you call internal cephalic version. Since in this video we're going to talk about the contraindications, remember the contraindications to ECV. One is if the patient, if the baby has hydrocephalus, Hydrocephalus, placenta previa, oligohydromnias or polyhydromnias. If there is any history of antipartum hemorrhage, antipartum hemorrhage, scar on uterus like myomectomy scar, previous cesarean scar, okay. Then we have preeclampsia or hypertension, okay. Then we have what you call multiple gestation, okay, multiple gestation, okay. And is there any plan to deliver by cesarean section anyway? then it's a contraindication to ECV. Because you have planned for cesarean section already, then no need to do uh, what you call ECV. You can go ahead with the cesarean section, okay? So this is a contraindication to ECV, hydrocephalus, placenta previa, oligo or polyhydromnias, if there is any history of uh, antipartum hemorrhage, if there is any scar on uterus like a myomectum scar or previous cesarean scar, uh, multiple gestations, preeclampsia or hypertension and what you call uh, if there's any plan that you are going to do any uh, you are going to do cesarean section then uh, and there's a contradiction to ECV right guys thank you for so much for watching this video take care